Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing the first path of Close Quarters Challenge with Sanctuary as a boss. And we're only gonna include the first path just because if you take a look at my units, I only have like 200 or 150. And we actually complete the first path without using any items. And if I had like 500 units or maybe a thousand, I could have some revives because yeah, it is pretty difficult to do a whole three paths without like messing up. Like that hit monkey is pretty scary. Also that Tigra. And yeah, they got so much attack and if you block you take so much damage because of the invade node. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, I think if I had like three team revives or maybe three to five team revives and some heals, I could do it. So I don't know how much it lasts, but if it lasts for a good amount of time, time I could farm some potions and get it done. But the rewards are nothing too crazy. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, the first fight we're using Sang Chi. We boost it up a little bit just for some more attack. And yeah, this first fight, the Sheikle, just you have to just worry about her. Like she gets aggressive sometimes and then you have increased combat power rate once you have more than one bar of power. And once you get to two bars of power, immediately throw that special because yeah, you take a lot of damage. And yeah, if you survive, you're gonna survive with like 10% health. But yeah, with Sang Chi, it's pretty good because we are actually stunning her as well. And we're staying close. So we heal instead of Degen. So yeah, he's actually a great counter man to many of these fights. Like, almost all of them. So this Sunspot fight, this is the real reason that I took my Gladiator Hulk up to rank 3. So this guy has no retreat and also the more hits we have the more attack he has so that node is actually pretty crazy and you're gonna see we want to actually trigger the no retreat because whenever we block we heal almost all of that health back so this is insane man and we're healing like hitting like 11,000 because of face me we're actually dealing, dealing more damage Look at this medium, man. Like, a 6 rank 3 Gladiator Hulk is insane. But yeah, you need to have someone ranked up, like, a lot. Because at one point, I think, I'm taking, like, Parry, and it's 20,000 because of the node where more hits we have. So yeah, there we go. 18,000 that time. See that? So maybe, like, at least a 5-star maxed so that he can survive those hits. But yeah, also our critical hits are dealing more damage. And if we deal more than 5%, we are taking an incinerate damage. But we're not quite at this level to deal more 5%. So there, he didn't want to throw the special. All my crowd excitement went down. But we will build that up. So yeah, it's actually so satisfying to be able to like dash back. As much as you want man with lighter hulks <laughs> look how my, my health dropped like 20 percent then we heal that back and you don't even need to have him awakened to do that so glider hulk man he's actually the best counter for the bs damage like magic or mamu no retreat and all of that stuff and we're gonna finish him off with the sp2 22,000 crit there and we still have 66 percent left so I think Sunspot is one of the worst here to fight because of his crazy attack, man. And if he doesn't want to throw the special, you're taking no retreat damage like crazy. You could also use Spider Ham if you're lucky and you're getting those spider charges. He could work, but he, he can't work like Gladiator Hulk, man. Gladiator Hulk is insane for this fight. And now we have the Hit Monkey. It's the most scary fight ever, man. Like. I don't care if you have an 8 star, which doesn't exist. 3 hits from this guy, guaranteed crits, you're dead. 
This guy hits like a truck, man. Even if in, in the block. And here we're just gonna throw Glider or Hulk in. Just to take to deal on mu as much damage as we can. So we intercepted there because of foresight. Dealing more damage. There we got the stun, which was pretty convenient actually. So we're gonna intercept again. And yeah, like Glider or Hulk, class advantage, 26% down. So there we actually dex that SP deal and we died from the D gen. From the node, I don't remember how it's called. Close encounters. So yeah, we took like 150,000 health with Glider or Hulk, man. I didn't expect that. I was pretty sick. And then we go with Dr. Doom, the 6 to rank 3 Dr. Doom, which has better block penetration. So here we actually want to parry because this guy is shock immune and you can't do the 40 combo into heavy attack. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why they added this. Yeah, we're gonna try intercept because yeah, if you intercept, it's actually very good. You double your damage. And you can see 9,000 with that heavy attack, that medium attack, the block, pretty sick. Now we're gonna use the SP1 to knock him down. We're gonna try to intercept after that. And then we are going to throw a big SP2, I think. Yup. So let's see, from 45%, he goes down to 39, and those incinerates. Dealing pretty good damage, man. So good, man. 29% with Dr. Doom, 28 now. Now I just wanna bait him. Heavy attack because we're gonna die from recoil if we use an SP1. But he just doesn't want to throw it, but it's fine, man. We did so much damage with Dr. Doom. 27%. And there we go, we died from the lost encounters. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy that we could deal so much damage with the champions that we're not gonna use anymore. So, now we're going with Corvus and. What we want to do here is get the evade charge and then finish him off. So we parry just to be safe. And oh, that hurt, man. But Corvus is just so good for this. Like, if you get the Sunsport charge and the evade charge, it's pretty good. And there we actually got evaded, which was pretty crazy. So we're gonna throw the SP1, the unblockable SP1, to knock him down and then we're gonna try get the evade charge oh actually we did we just want him to block and we got we actually i wanted to hit him in the block there but it actually counted as an intercept so we did like twenty-five thousand with a medium in his block like that's how insane corvus is and then mr negative so mr negative is very annoying if you don't have a, a good counter so his SP1, there's a chance that it is like inverted controls, but his SP2, I don't think it can happen. I don't think those inverted controls count on that SP2. And the SP2 is actually much easier to evade, you just outrange it and then evade the last hit. So with Sanchi, we're gonna try and push him to his SP2 using our stun, so right here, just while he's up below. One bar of power, we stun him and we finish that combo with the heavy attack just so we have a better chance of him throwing a special. So now get him below one bar of power, hit him in the block, stun him in the block because Sanctuary has crits in the block and good block penetration. So he's amazing, man. Then we evade another SP2. We're not gonna stun just yet because we want him to get below. One bar of power, just below, and then bait this heavy attack, stun him, and then I'm not gonna use the cleansing strike just to get him above the SP2. And now we don't have any challenges, so we're just gonna hit him in the block while when he gets just below one bar of power, and then we're gonna throw the SP2, and then hopefully he doesn't throw the SP1. We're just gonna hold block. And there we go, we actually push him to the SP2. And then we evade that again, now we're gonna stun him because he's low. And now we're hoping he doesn't throw the SP1. But we are unblockable, he's holding block, we are unblockable, throw the SP2, and 
we got the solo and Mr. Negative. And as soon as I did that, I'm like, there's no way I die to Tiger. I have my Torch. And even if I lose Torch, I have Corvus at 1% and Sanctuary has decent health. So now our Torch has his pre-fight. And this Tiger only has 531,000 health. She's gonna melt pretty easily. But I'm playing it safe in this fight. I'm blocking a lot. Just because I don't want to lose this. It's a pretty good run so far. And if I had the units, I would continue it. Because it's like two rounds of those fights. Like, I think with five team revives and maybe full health, I got this. But yeah, we're gonna see. So we want to actually bait SP1s because they are easier. And also, after this, we are only gonna see a full trick with Human Torch. So I think we're gonna bait this out. And then you can throw that heavy attack and get some temperature up after she finishes the SP1. You have some time to do that. And then also Torch bypasses the Falter while he has 10 temperature or more. And now we're not gonna hit her. We could actually deal a lot more damage, but I didn't want to risk it. Because, yeah, that SP2 is actually pretty scary. Now you're gonna see, there we go, build that temperature up, like 9 temperature. Let's see, from 10 it goes to 16, okay. Then max temperature. Now she's melting. But we got hit by the unblockable SP1. And that's Tiger, it's like pretty scary, man. But we have Corvus, and Corvus at 1%, he can take some block hits, or even some hits in the face, if you have him awakened. So she has how much? 22%, okay. We actually have a pretty bad start right there. Block hits, backed into the corner, so we're gonna do a 5 hit combo to get her back. And then she is defensive, luckily, and then again. Might be coming to the, to the block, it's enough to finish the path. So yeah guys, I hope this helped you, that was my team. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.